Yes or no, but I think that Croatia has the luck that they always go under the radar. Everybody's talking about Brazil, everybody's talking about, uh, about Argentina, uh, all the teams that everybody expects to win, and Croatia always is under the radar. And I think that uh, the way they, uh, they play the game, and you know, we always know that Croatia has always been a team full of technical ability, that, you know, tactical ability also, players who play at the highest level. So therefore, it's not a surprise. I think you have to believe in yourself. That's the most important thing. I think that Argentina showed that they're technical aware, that they can adapt themselves as well. And, of course, they have Messi. Messi can make the difference. That's something that, you know, Croatia has with Modric, of course. But, you know, uh, nevertheless, it's, 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 it's Messi. The good thing about football is, is that always the individual makes the difference. Some coaches think always it's about them. The most important thing for a coach is to find a system that suits the players that you have. And then you have to make them feel comfortable, make them feel happy. And if they're happy, they play better. The thing is that, uh, you know, the myth of Maradona will always hunt you because he made them world champion. I think it's harsh to, to make a comparison like that. I think uh, he finally won the Copa America with uh, Argentina. Uh, Argentina, before, was not so much a team. Uh, they were struggling inside as well. And I saw now the Argentina team against Holland, and you can see that they're fighting for each other. Not only for Messi, but also for each other. And that's, I think that is an, a huge improvement of what was in, in the past. It would be great France against Argentina, of course. Yes, of course. That would be on paper a great uh, final.